Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to pull your results from JTL uh, to prepare your aggregate report. How to use a JTL file generated using non GA mode. Okay, so in non GA mode we have we have executed one, one test which is uh, dev uh, JTL, the dev store JTL. Now we will use the uh, JMeter and we will open our aggregate results and the hits per second and everything using the JMeter. Now after your test completed, go to the listeners, uh, go to the listeners and open to aggregate report and browse your uh, JTL file. Browse your JTL file. Browse your JTL file. JTL file in here. Okay, so I'm copy pasting the same file again. Just to uh, if there's any cor corruption in your uh, script or something just uh, I mean if there's any corruption in your JTL then that will not uh, cost your uh, that will not cost your uh, execution times so then we got all the JTL information all the execution information all the request uh, number of requests average response time uh, main median 95 percentile 90 percentile 99 percentile main map error thing now if you go to the listeners it's per second uh we don't have it's per second here mm. if you uh, want it per second we can add the per second next uh comparison as a uh, session reference uh, graph we will stable so it is any any listener if you go to any listener you can copy this log file you will get the status which is parts of pass office Fail. So we'll uh, use how to get an it's per second basic three graphs select uh, basic three graphs uh, average response time graph active threats and subsequent facial uh, transactions apply and restart changes. No, I don't want to see this. Plugin manager go to available plugin manager. Uh, Start JMeter. Bounce here. Now we will see a response to graph using our JTL file. JMeter is starting. So if you have a JTL, you can use a JTL file. Uh, even in future, you can get the results after even after one year or something. It's like a uh, database for your test. Now go to add a third group or uh, I'm adding third group just to add my listener. I'm adding a listener active trades uh, response to more seconds. Now select your uh, uh, select your JTL file where it is. Now we got the response time for more JTL. So the response time overall uh, throughout my execution, including all transactions. We got the response time if you want to go to specific transaction detail uh, one one row per sample then you will get each and every you will get each and every transaction details here each and every transaction and request details so which you can use for comparing the uh, uh, <coughs> response time with the transaction or transaction or uh, transaction level so just you need to select your jmeter file and you to click browse and say, uh, browse and say, set to uh, file and after that enter that the JTL will be uh, added here. Uh, this is how we need to use our uh, JTL file of our test to pull our results and uh, get the results to uh, display. Okay, thanks for listening, friends.